I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. You come in our sport, think it's going to be easy. But you're in for a real wake-up call. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Look out. Superman punch! That shovel's an equalizer. Spear! Spear! This is going to be one for the ages. We are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. So this is it, day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just checking out the facility. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat down. Really thorough. So Todd's alright in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd! Turn it off, please. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. Started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No. Where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry. Soccer. I chose wrestling. chose football. Real football. The kind where you can actually get hurt? I'll choose to ignore that for now. So why are you here then? I love playing football, but I just kind of got burnt out going from college to the pros and wanted a new challenge. I started training for this a few months back, and WWE took notice. That's good. But don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard 
or harder than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that, and I respect everything that WWE superstars do, inside and outside the ring. But there have been a lot of guys who crossed over successfully from football to wrestling, and I plan on being the next one to do it. I like your determination. Now let's see if you have what it takes to get the ball in the end zone. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. Uh, bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was busy playing football at the highest level in the world. So you're a football player, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into our sport think it's gonna be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever team you were cut from. You remind me of a lot of the guys I played against. All talk. Luckily for them, when the whistle blew, I couldn't punish them anymore. Last time I checked, there's no whistles here. Yeah, but there's a whole lot of wrestling rings, which you have very little experience in. You're on my field now, rookie. When I'm done with you, you're gonna be begging for a whistle. We'll see. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. You're a football fan? <laughs> no, not really. I just like your team's colors. Big purple fan. That'll be the color of my gear when I get to WWE. But anyway, I actually have an athletic background too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Even if Lawler helped get your foot in the door, you wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. Ah, oh, sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign your football card for me before you leave today? Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, then you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. <laughs> See you out there, Chase.
I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy? Since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started.
before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not gonna give 100% in a training match against a nobody. You're right about one thing. You shouldn't be here. Not because you deserve to be in WWE, but because you're an overhyped, undermotivated egomaniac who's full of excuses. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see what happens. I'd like to, but if you keep losing training matches to nobodies, then I'll never get the chance. <laughs>